Oh my gosh, okay. Well, we're part way there, okay. Goodness gracious. see you didn't crash it um, me being a dingus crashed it somehow the extension cord everything's plugged into got wrapped around my chair leg without me noticing and I just ripped it right out this is the most viewers we'd had in a long time too Bummed about that. I hope, mo I hope most people can make it back. Ooh, I'm opening that to save for later. We lost our first match against the opponent, but we're in that same game that crashed. Yeah, I hope some of the viewers come back. That was fun. We had a lot of lurkers. <laughs> Plus bread! Uh, we're playing against Omnath. Uh, apparently. It came back, and uh, I'd only played the one land, and they had four lands out in Omnath. I was like, <laughs> So I scooped to game two. Okay, at least the core seven viewers look like they made it back. I think we lost all the lurkers, unfortunately. Sorry, lurkers, wherever you are. I love you. Oh, yeah, tips and tricks, dude. But what was I saying before it crashed? About magazines. I accidentally subscribed to the New Yorker, which I read the fiction pieces out of and that's it, but that's cool. Forrest, you're like a, a curse on magazines. Yeah, I got some deal and then forgot to unsubscribe. But then they charged me a lot of money for another year. I didn't do anything about it. I think I'm canceled now. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was super biased. Naturally. $5 a year on auto renewal? Yeah, that seems fine for the Food Network magazine. It could be worse. I'm on tilt after ripping the power cord out of the wall. Right? Like, why would you want to play anything else?
Well, I hope all our lurkers liked what they saw while they were here. I knew that was going to happen someday too, and I hadn't figured out a way to fix it yet. <sighs> anyway, happy Friday night. <laughs> I just got so sleepy. Oh, yeah, forest. Yeah, we got some insects. Right, what else do I do we like against on this? I didn't actually do any sideboarding. Cause I'm on the tilt. This is fine. I like the gem razors against, uh... Oh no, forest! Hmm. Oh, this isn't too bad. Shambler and a horn beetle. I think a shambler instead of beast token. Oh, you know, I've heard people talk about retronauts, but I haven't actually looked into it myself. Cobra's a pretty good card, you know? Beanstalk giant. Oh, yeah, one of your uh, few Patreons. What's your other Patreons? <laughs> it's funny because I'm one of those Patreons. Uh, can I say I probably will be for a bit? I gotta, I can't stay up too late. Because I gotta get up early and clean the trash heap that I've turned my house into. I like Patreon as a concept. I like being able to support creators that way. Or if I could work it into my budget to support a few more people. See, I gotta get more patrons myself so that I can then also <laughs> just use that money to sub to Patreons myself. I wish, Forrest. They've probably got us at this point. Ooh, I like Simulacrum in there. I don't run any. You know, if we're looking for silver linings in the pandemic, which I'm not sure is really appropriate to phrase it that way, but uh, 
That part really warms my heart. All the, you know, community support that I've seen and stuff like that. The anti-land blue card. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, Forest. This is a good card. I don't think we're getting this. Oh, those are interesting blocks, though. It means they have another Omnath, right? You can't have my rice. No matter how cute you are, I'll give you a bite of it when it's time to do dishes. My dog's taken to like licking my calf and my knee when he wants my attention. And it's because he knows to let me go, Ugh. slimy thing. But it's very cute. You're a good boy. Oh. Opponent, I'm not entirely sure what the haps is here. Wait, we should have just gone... No, I did that wrong. I think. Eh, no, that's fine. Yeah, oh, yeah, Forrest, I forgot about the all the triggers that are happening there. That might actually not be good. Because then they can just play them again. And, you know, they want to be able to play their lands again, right? Oh, what a well-timed Primal Might. tapped out that wasn't quite as good as I was hoping but that was pretty good that was a well timed primal might I do like beefy critters. I should have swung with everyone. I don't know what I'm thinking. Why am I being careful? Also, I should have played the Horn Beetle pre combat. I'm slipping. If they draw another Shatter the Sky, I'm gonna kick myself in the face. Oh. That was the same game that we accidentally crashed the whole computer playing earlier. Whew. Pulled it pulled it back together. <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure. No, I guess I understand where they are coming from with that line of play. I'm not sure if that's how I would have done it. But I'm also not the best magic player in the world. I mean, I guess Mono Green, I don't know. They, they didn't see my hand, so they wouldn't know, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. This is probably bad. We got 20 minutes left. It's past my bedtime. We're keeping all the lands.
I love the art on this card. It's so good. I want to get that in foil. Yeah? You know. I haven't seen a stinging lionfish in a very long time. Speaking of cards that I think are very pretty. Yeah, Forrest, you got time. It's not over yet. Are those pickled beets? I think they are. I don't think I'm a pickled beet kind of guy today. He said looking at his takeout. <laughs> Right? Should've seen that coming. Here, I thought I was being clever. Well. Well, we've got the Primal Might for next time. Ooh, yeah, dude. Is it Dexter Sweet? Astro's a big Is It fan. Crowberry loves the red and blue. Sea Dasher Octopus, eh? Should have double blocked. Oh well. You know what will come in handy? Sorry, right, we've got a surprise. The amount of times I almost click under on the in that situation is too many times. Oh, Astro, speaking of Joe has merch now. Did your shirt make it out of the wash okay? I always worry about shirts and the washer. It's a big fear of mine. Yeah, I gotta turn it inside out. That technique usually works for me. From that same company, I've washed uh, threadless shirts inside out, been fine. Did they not get to tap one of my critters? Hell yeah, dude. I'm excited. I've, I've finally got one on the way, too. I'm gonna shoot a little, like, goofy merch promo video. It'd be cool to have selfies from you and Sloth, if you're willing. Like, no pressure, but a little pressure. A little marketing pressure, you know? <laughs> Whatever's going on with their deck, it is cool and I like it. What's well, good against blue, huh? I kind of like the stock list. It can be black, so we don't need more harbingers. Maybe swap out two gem razors for two Karooks. We didn't see a ton of enchantment-y stuff. Oh yeah, Driz also got one, yeah. I think, right? Driz was anonymous? We should all mask up and meet and have Driz, like, shoot a picture. Hey, thank you, Not Dunrick. I appreciate you. Good luck at the wedding. Weddings are... Beautiful things, but also stressful. 
for like five seconds. You know, you want to share a selfie to get put in a YouTube video. Drizonymous. The one problem with, uh, oh yeah, you gotta get some of that back, that's right. I forgot they made you shape that. The one problem with print on demand is sometimes it can take years. Not really, it takes forever to get there. Driz, I think you and I will be getting our MTG Joe D shirts around the same time. whole octopus for you. I fell for a trick, didn't I? Okay, no, they did have a C-Dasher. I thought so. Horn Beetle! No! Oh, we should have just thrown the Serpent away. We don't want them drawing cards. You don't let the Blue Mages draw cards? Joseph. Joseph Doseph. Jodo. funny how like uh, magic players all have you know like specific kind of matchups they dislike you know or like styles they really don't like expecting that. Yeah, right. Don't don't mess with my math. Oh no. Oof. Probably doing a game three, huh? Yeah, where's Crowberry? We're setting it up for you, Crobes. Crow diddles. What am I doing? I'm walking into counter spells left and right. I'm so tired. Uh, 
I actually don't know how much longer after this I'll stay up. Yeah, it depends on how big of a gang we get for Among Us thing, I guess. I want to do a little. gotta play uh, Infect. One of my favorite memories is uh, my first ever Grand Prix. It was a modern Grand Prix in Portland, and I was running Infect, that our friend uh, DarkDude43, who's in the chat sometimes, uh, put together for me, because I didn't have my own collection at that point. I was still just a wee bab of a Magic player. You know, I'm not super familiar with Modern either. I didn't do great. Well, one of the early rounds... I sit down across from uh, my opponent, you know, he's a nice guy, we're talking. And then uh, we start playing, and I do my turn one Glistener Elf. And he just looks at me and he goes, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, there's my one. I usually don't swear on stream, I'm sorry. Uh, there's my one, PG-13. Yeah, we get one. It was a quote, too. And then I'm like, oh, uh, you know, I'm all flustered. Because I'm new and don't know what I'm doing. And then he drops a, a soul, one of the Soul Sister cards. And he's like, you see what I mean? <laughs> and I won. We had a fun conversation, though. Soul Sisters guy, wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. You were a kind opponent. Oh, Forest, Infect. I thought I explained Infect to you. I apologize. I thought we'd have this conversation. Uh, so, Infect, you you do 10 Infect damage and they lose, no matter what their life total is. Yeah, I'm pro-kind MTG opponents. So, and Soul Sisters is a life gain deck. Hey, no worries, man. Uh, yeah, so Soul Sisters is like the modern life gain deck. Ollie would love it. Um, but it doesn't matter. You know, at one point, you know, he had like... A bajillion life. Just, but I only had to count to ten. To this day, I think Infect is still my favorite modern deck. I have it built in Legacy 2, but I don't play that one very often. I mean, three untapped islands? It's all counter spells, right? Yeah, right? It's really not that different. Infect is fun, man. I'm thinking about putting it together on Magic Online. I think we can get away with this here. Yeah, it is another one of those divisive decks. I don't even know how I got into it the first time. But it was my first modern deck. And I did well enough at the GP and inside events to start like banking up a trade collection and packs and stuff to trade into my own version of Infect, which then won me a lot more store credit, which helped me buy more cards. And the moral of the story is, I would not be able to play Magic at the level I do right now if it wasn't for Dark Dude 43 building me a Infect deck to take to GP Portland in my youth. Yeah, dude, the boss. Still one of my favorite magic players. Oh, yeah. No, we can put him on a horn beetle. Actually, I think we scoose here. Uh, I don't know if he still is, because he's back playing magic I don't remember if it's like at a competitive level uh, I mean he's still tangentially with them somehow I think but he was like streaming again for a while and doing some more magic stuff which I think was out of his contract but uh, 
man. Yeah, and it, just what an inspiration as a player to me. I read every Tom Ross article I could get my hands on when I was first starting. How rude. Oh, that would be cool to see him again. You know who else was a competitive player and writer I really liked reading pieces of? Melissa Del Toro. I haven't looked at her Twitter in a while, but I read every article that she wrote. It was good stuff. Now I read every article that I write. Yeah, okay, she's still with them. I lost track. I got out of reading all the time for a while. Oh, we should have blocked. We knew. We should have known. How could I not? Should have just lost the serpent. Arbiter pre combat for the beetle. Oh, man, yeah, it would take a while. That's a sweet sideboard tech. Mystic sub duel. I like that. Oh man, yeah, that's subreddit. <sighs> Reddit in general can be rough. Oh man, we just hit our stream time. This is the last game of the night. Astro, that's kind of cool. I don't think you're following very many people if I'm the second highest at eight viewers, but that still makes me feel pretty good. <laughs> Aw, <laughs> thanks, man. I appreciate you. Zonk out here. We might get this. Opponent's not out of it yet. We could hope that these are all lands, you know? Hmm. I recognize the name. I'm not placing a, uh, cards on the table here. Oh, that's not worth it to swing. We had good Friday numbers today, up until I accidentally pulled the plug, literally. Yeah, that's kind of weird. You think it would be a good timing for that? Bye. 
Bueno. Still not worth it, alright. Yeah, I can see that. It's hard to be in the mood to do stuff. Yay, forest! I would like to draw some cards. Not that card. Ooh. -hoo. You know? That's a cool way to chip them out, Forest. Nothing wrong with that. Yikes. We need to draw something big and have it not get countered. This is slipping out of our control real quick. My mom is really excited. Oh no! Oh no! There it goes. Shoot. I think that's it. We'll see what they do with it. My mom's really excited because I told her that I am making my famous homemade pizza before she comes back into town. If we don't draw a turn timber symbiosis and resolve it right here, yeah, it's bedtime. Where's the good game button? Oh, that was a close one. That was still fun. Anyway, friends, it is past the 11 o'clock mark where I am at, which means it is d dead time for bedtime. Thank you for being here, Astro Forest. Thank you for being here. Uh, everyone else who's hung out tonight, I super appreciate you spending time with me, MTG Joe D, on your Friday night. Uh, that means a lot to me. I really appreciate you. To any of the lurkers who are just stopping by, I'm seeing the number go up. I'm really sorry I'm quitting right now. You know, throw me a follow and hang out next time we're up if you're around. I'd love to see you. I'd love to get to know you. Or if you just want to lurk some more, that's cool too. Uh, yeah, follow here, sub on YouTube, MTG Joe D slash YouTube, it's the other way around, I'm too tired. I'll be back Sunday, probably, unless I'm spending time with my mom, depends on how sleepy we are, for, uh, Dark Souls Sunday, so keep an eye out for that, and in the meantime, stay safe, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and, uh, I love you, man, take care.